Die Horror fans, Rod here. I'm going to do a, another reaction to another one today, and this one is called Five Scary Videos of Poltergeist Activity. Now, I like the Poltergeist ones. As far as I'm concerned, they're definitely the better ones. <laughs> Mainly because you're seeing things happening as it happens. And that's a little bit harder, I think. I know people say, oh, they use strings, and they use this, and they use that. Well, that's fine. But it still has to be done. And I, a lot of the time, the poltergeist activity ones, I find it very, very hard to actually say yay or nay to them. And that's probably why I like them. So, I mean, with the other ones, you know, clip art and whatever, you can soon sort of make your own little horror boss name up on that can't you that no problem at all so if you're new to the channel please subscribe don't forget to press that notification button and please 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 comment on anything you see on the video um, if you think I'm wrong if you think I'm right doesn't matter even if you even if you think I'm ugly tell me now I suppose I'm going to get loads now aren't I but be nice send love um, so without any further ado we'll make a start wait for the ping pong ping ping off we go hello everyone and welcome to my channel sexy ladies voice for all things paranormal Today we are going to take a look at five scary videos of poltergeist activity. I hope you will enjoy. So let's get to I'm it. I'm sure I will, dear. Number five, haunted footsteps. YouTuber Michael D. McGee has been documenting a haunting in his home since 2010. His channel consists of many video uploads. But he's still there. Natural events. In this video, he captures 20 years, 21 years ago. No. And into an adjacent room where it slams the door shut. No, 10 years. 11 years. I'll be gone. Well gone. You're going to send me for dust. Look right in the middle of that door. Don't I look like a skull? Where the knot is finished on the wood. On the Vermica. It really does, doesn't it? You can hear somebody coming up the stairs. Coming up or going down? Spooky. Spooky, spooky. Jeez, did you hear that? There's nobody there. Holy shit. Yeah, right. I'd like some opinion about that one. I mean, maybe do that. I mean, come on. What would he do if someone jumped out at him? He'd shot yourself, wouldn't he? He, he would. He'd definitely shot yourself. I oh, know. I would. I already had. Just that coming up the stairs. Oh, dear. Michael's last post was three months ago where he highlights some of his scariest experiences Man, that he caught on camera. Slurry Check out his channel, Michael D. McGee, to view his documented paranormal activity. Number four, Attic Poltergeist. Attic. <clears throat> Upon arriving home, this uploader noticed that one of his dogs was terrified of something and that it refused to come out from under the bed. He thought he would start filming his dog's odd behavior. It's not long until he starts hearing noises from the attic and decides to investigate. This is what happens. 
Hey, what's the matter, girl? Come here. What's the matter? Are you okay? Put your light on, on your phone, come mate, on. so you can see her, bless her. Baby, come on. Go on, mate. Hey. It's gone. What's the matter? What's the matter, baby dog? Come on, Mom. It's gone. Come on. Don't want to come out. Don't want to come out. Look, you can see that. Look at the bags under my eyes now. Look, you can see how much sleep I'm getting doing all this. Come on. You're lucky I ever sleep again. What the hell? What the hell was that? Well, I would have definitely gone up there without any problems. Not. Oh, some people are loco. What is the matter with them? That's another night where I won't be sleeping. Oh, I don't know why I do this. I really don't. It scares the living shit out of me. Some someone must have hit his phone or whatever he's using to record with. Hello, playing with the lights now. I think I would be with the dog under the bed. Yeah, table. me and you both. Cool strength. Number three, kitchen poltergeist. Starting off in what seems to be a very small kitchen slash dining room. A seemingly very nervous man filmed some rather I'm very nervous and man. unexplainable activity. Come and sit here, mate. <laughs> I think I might have had a bit of a tidy up before I started filming. Oh, see that cupboard open? Jesus. There's a child in there as well. and pans over the corner. Here we go. He seems to be scared and the camera does seems to be shaky. Perhaps from nerves. I don't think this is a hope. <coughs> these people love it. Number two. Sheep goes. That's what she says. I found this Two video sheep very goes. interesting. I'm not sure exactly what is being said as the only language so I do speak what, what, is sheep in this or but what? for one reason or another, a camera is rolling and it pauses on a small childlike shape under a sheet. Did the individual think it was sheep. his child playing a game? What did you say sheep? The other boy in the room? She I'm said sheep, sure. didn't she? Regardless. I'm sure still that's what I had written down there, sheep. Watch and see. Don't you know the difference between a sheep? And a sheet. The sheet is what I every time I watch these videos. Oh no. no. Sheets what goes on the bed. Oh, your dad's talking to you, answer him. 
hang on, she said there was two, two there. So there's a boy in the bed and a boy in the other room. So the blue nails underneath that. Tobias. Quédate ahí, no te despiertes, no te despiertes, vengo, Tobias. Quédate ahí. Oh, excuse me. Oh. See, just don't get to sleep. Try to turn the light off. You lot have turned me into this. Nervous wreck. Please feel free to watch the full video. Link is in the description. And if someone could let me know what the context of the Boom. video is, it would be greatly appreciated. Now that was a shock. How the hell did that happen? Unusual. Number one. Violent poltergeist. Oh. Something you're going to get scratched and whipped and The uploader of this next video, by the name of Lee, says that her and her family have been experiencing paranormal activity in their home for the past 12 months. They have started to video document some of these strange occurrences. Check oh. it out. What are we looking at? And why is it in black and white? Black and white holds and hides a multitude of sins. Not enough of that happening yet. Come on then, do something. always stuff that's out of view comes into view it's not very often you see it standing there and then goes from there it's always behind the cameras type thing hello it's on the media so now we can't see those other two legs is somebody doing something to that with the other two legs knowing that they can't see it who knows oh standing up right Spooky. Go on, something happened. Oh, here we go. Now, I bet you as much run as you like, that chair doesn't go all the way back so you can see all four legs. With the most recent post being just a few days ago. So it's six inches, eight inches that you can't see still. Family supernatural encounters. So that was five scary videos of four. There's six or eight video. inches. I hope you enjoyed still, the content. But you can't so see. Don't forget to and all we done on a little hook. Haven't already done so. Pulling it back as a pause. Return with the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to check under your bed at night. Sleep tight. Don't worry, I do. Right, what do you think of that one? Oh, not too bad at all, was it? I do like the Poltergeist ones, though, because, like I say, uh, a lot of them you can debug straight away. So I'm not going to... That, that chair, I, I won't have. Because, like I say, I mean, that's come back from where the camera is. It's just been pushed. And then you never, ever see the bottom of one leg. So it's so easy to be able to do all of the things they want to do, you know, from behind the camera. So I could be wrong though. Tell me. Leave a comment below. Tell me whether you think that one with the chair was real or not. I'd be interested to see what you come out with. Anyway, if you liked it, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that um, notification button for all the new ones that are coming in. And um, please, please, please leave comments behind. I'll be get back to them as soon as I can with no worries whatsoever. 
Um, so and that, it's time to say goodbye. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.